Yo, yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you for showing out, bringing the energy and bringing the vibe. The channel once again, I appreciate you guys. And if you're new, my name is Roy. For today's video, I have a full day of eating for you guys, weight gain edition. You guys will see a bunch of cool and simple plant-based foods that I'm currently enjoying on my weight gain journey. Of course, it's very balanced. You know, there's a bunch of food that I eat that is super clean because you want to get that nutrients in, you want to get that nourishment that you deserve, but at the same time, enjoying some really fun food. I call that balance. And as far as training goes, obviously that's a big part of your weight gain journey, your muscle gain. You want to stay locked in on that. And majority of you guys know I've been focused. I haven't been missing any days when it comes to my workout split. But when it comes to life, I really like to move with purpose. And obviously the purpose of me training and getting in the gym is because I've been an athlete my whole life. It just feels natural to me. It's like a lifestyle. And also for health reasons, of course, you want to stay on top of your health and work out. But I gave my training a bigger purpose by, by setting a new standard. So I wanted to start off with a clean early morning weigh-in. Those of you that have been watching, you already know. I first started off at 179, made my way up to 183, and then 184, and now 186. And I set my goal for this month, September, for 187, which I'm obviously going to hit. But you know, I'm just I'm just never satisfied. I feel like I'm gonna want 190. I'm definitely going to want 190, so I think that's going to be the new goal. As you guys can see, that's progress, baby, and uh, the only way is up. I'm definitely too tall to be looking down. That's, that's not happening. This is some early morning fuel. I got my yogurt with the granola in it. If you have seen the recent videos, you already know the vibrations. I love this because it's super light. It's easy on the stomach early in the morning and it's tasty, of course. It's just a wonderful combination. I got my protein shake right here, plant powered protein shake by Orgain, of course. This is the chocolate flavor and you guys already know the vibrations, man. I got my vegan water, which I actually already uh, drank because your boy needed to hydrate the body. And I had my vitamins, of course. And this is my pre-workout fuel to start the day. All right, y'all, so before I actually get into my next meal, which will actually be, we can just call it like brunch. It will be like breakfast, lunch. It will be around like 12 o'clock. I gotta get in my gym session. Today I'm gonna be doing, it's gonna be a pool day. So that means back, that means biceps. Quick workout montage, and then I will see y'all back at the crib for a big freaking brunch, man. I'm gonna eat a lot of food. Very intense workout. Your boy is mad sweaty right now. Soup, look at, whoa, Spidey Droy in the building. Vascularity is looking crazy right now, but workout was very intense. I caught a nice gym rhythm, which is very important right now because you only get an hour and a half session because of everything that's going on. So when you reserve a spot, you get an hour and a half. So you really got to catch a good rhythm like you would in basketball, you know what I'm saying? So I was locked in. Your boy went off for 50 today, 50. Maybe next session I'll go off for like, 15 and 10. But anyways, it is time for brunch. I will see y'all back at the crib. Okay, that's why I asked you if he unfollowed. I just, usually when a guy follows too, that means he knows like this shit. All 
All right, I just finished making brunch and it is looking sensational. It's looking mighty fine. And uh, if y'all haven't got the gist already, your boy Jeroy be throwing... That's a bar. Your boy Jeroy be throwing down in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all what I'm working with. Ta-da, your boy plays no games. We have a beautiful breakfast platter right here and then we have a beautiful kale bowl. Now, quick breakdown. We have those potato little, these are like potato bites. You guys know I like to make my potato french fries. Just take a potato, chop it up, season it, throw it in the oven. So I made these little potato bites. Right next to it, we have a egg by Just Egg. This is the plant-based egg. There's actually some spinach in there if you can see we come over to the left we have these garden sausage patties which taste amazing and then we have two amy's amy no two annie's biscuits right here and then we come to the right and we have our fruit salad yeah yeah yummy yummy yeah and the kale is on the bottom blueberries on top strawberries on top looking sensational and my liquid is going to be this vegan water for the nourishment for the hydration and somebody recently asked me yo what is vegan water majority of you guys know some of y'all may not know if you don't know now you know vegan water is when you throw some type of vegetable some type of fruit into your water for more nutrients because most water is just chemically infused and really doesn't have any positive purpose but when you throw some stuff in it oh man it's that much better first thing is i get a lot of questions about plant-based meals and different smoothies and just different ideas when it comes to a plant-based lifestyle. And I've been thinking about like making some type of cookbook. Now I would of course make, still make food on the channel, show you guys different food on the channel, but I'm thinking about making a cookbook putting it on Patreon and like monetizing it like a cookbook, super affordable and just like every week making new food, showing you guys step by step. It would be entertaining. It would be, it would just be dope. So if you feel like that's something you'd be interested in, Jeroy's cookbook, let me know. And the second thing is we have this platter right here, of course, and let me know if I'm the only one. When I was a kid and I would go to like a diner or some type of restaurant, if you gave me a platter like this with like some bacon, some eggs, some potato, or just other things on the platter, and you put some type of carb, like a biscuit or a bread there, bro, I'm gonna just take all this stuff and throw it onto the sandwich, bro. I'm gonna make a sandwich out of it. <laughs> right here, we got the egg on the bottom, sausage patty in the middle, and then we got the potatoes on top. Let's try it out. Good, good. That's the one, that's the one. Fruit salad, hey, yummy, yummy, yo. That's fresh. Boy just woke up from a nap. I typically wake up at like nine o'clock, 10-ish o'clock, and today I woke up at seven and I just stayed up. I didn't even go back to sleep. And of course I had some good food and it started raining. And rainy weather and good food is literally like the recipe for like a nap. And I never take naps, so that felt amazing. On to the next thing. I typically eat right now, I'm currently eating around 3,000 to 3,200 calories a day. And when you eat a lot of calories, you wanna make sure that your digestive system is on point, right? Because gut health, it's super important. I make sure that I get my herbs in so I can digest my food properly. And of course, I get my smoothies in. I take my vitamins, I get my fiber in, which is really gonna help me digest that food. And one of my go-tos when it's like hard to eat and I don't, I don't want something that's super hearty is smoothies, of course. Shout out to the Smoothie Kingdom and the Smoothie King. So right now I'm about to make one of my go-to smoothies. Y'all know the vibes. <laughs> Much to explain here the go-to smoothie aka the beautiful bianca super delicious very nutritious and if you haven't made yourself bianca at the crib yet you, you looking suspicious for real <laughs> it's 
sensational okay so next on the menu guys we got something that looks pretty boring but it gets the job done and it's also tasty and nutritious at the same time very simple ingredients when it comes to both these things of course we got some sweet potatoes right here on each side and then what you see this is some basmati times lentil rice this is actually really freaking good the brand that makes this they flavor the rice so well that you don't even have to season it but if you prefer extra seasoning then obviously you could do your thing but i'm probably just going to enjoy this one myself and then this one right here i'm just going to container it up and this is how i keep my days nice and efficient because tomorrow when i want something after my next gym session then i can just get some you know get some extra gains and so always like cooking a little bit extra so i have some meals for the next day and it makes my day that much easier Woo, that was really tasty and as y'all can see say good night but your boy is still a little bit hungry, so I'm about to enjoy myself a little snack. So I got these kind cranberry almond with macadamia nut bars, five grams of protein, gluten free. And if I take one out, I want to take one out to show you guys something real quick. Right here, it says ingredients you can see and pronounce. And I'm big on this and I love this because I've said it before, man. Whenever you buy something, just take a look at the back, man. Take a look at the ingredients. And once you get to that point where you start speaking different languages, just don't buy it because you don't know what you're putting in your body. But I'm about to enjoy one of these bars right here and my sister's my sister is actually supposed to be giving me a granola bar recipe so that I can make my own granola bars and have them throughout the whole entire week and for example that would be something that would be on that patreon page uh, on that patreon page but um yeah once I start making my own granola bars I won't need these and I'll save a lot more money but for now Cranberry almond bars definitely are my favorite. Well, my people, thank you so much for watching this video, this full day of eating in its entirety. If you're watching at this point, holla at the Brody in the comment section, say what up. As much as you guys let me know I motivate and inspire, you guys motivate and inspire the crap out of me. You guys push me to go harder, to create more content, just to raise the bar. Y'all bring the energy, that's what I be talking about. So thank you so much to every single one of you guys in our community. And I did mention last video that I always have videos in the tuck, I'm always creating, I'm always working, but if you guys have any video ideas, this is our community. Anything that you feel like I would produce well, then let me know in the comment section and I'll add it to the list and then I'll start working on it if it feels like it fits what we do over here you know what i'm saying but uh thank you and family as always make sure to comment e and d in the comment section i love you guys i appreciate you guys make sure to click the bell next to the subscribe button that way you get notified when the next video drops because i got some more vibes on the way best believe that and as always stay true to self and i will see y'all in the next one i'm out